Okay, me again. Today I'm going to remove the immobiliser from this VW Golf ECU and I'm going to take you through it step by step. Hopefully it won't be too boring and hopefully it will work right first time. So what we've got under here, if I slide it out, is a VCDS um, OBD test plug, which we will use to test the immobiliser part of it. And this is the part of the um, Fox Flash system that I've wired in to make it easier. Uh, normally what would happen is you would use these, these lots of these and you would plug them into the ECU and it takes forever. And then you've got to unplug it all again, then plug it all back in for something else to test it. So I've wired all that through this. Uh, what we've got is our control unit there, on off switch, like I said, the interface and the VCDS. So we're going to do the VCDS first. So I'm just going to plug that in like that. I'm going to take the power and plug it into this one. Like that. Okay, so that's our power connected to the VCDS. Go to the laptop. Right. And let's load it. Okay. And select. Engine. All we're interested in is turning off the immobiliser. Okay, so we're in. We go to adaption. Uh, we go to immobiliser status. Let's go, we missed it. Immobiliser status. There we go, that one. And we're looking for number one. Well, that says number four. Number four is immobiliser match system OK, which means the immobiliser on this ECU is active. When we finished, we want to see that be a number one. OK, so let's go done. Go back. Go back. Exit. So we're going to exit that. Right, I'm going to take the power off of this. I'm going to have to fix this down. That's it. Plug that into there. And then we're going to unplug the VCDS like so and i'm going to plug it i'm going to load the fox flash and then plug that in so let's do fox flash first so i'm going to load that load the manager yes this is all in real time so this is how long it would take to do it uh, no i don't activate I started okay so that started to so get that down out of the way then we're gonna Load Fox Flash, yes. No, it's going to ask for my serial number, so <clears throat> I'm not giving you that. So I'll wait till that loads. Okay, bear with me on this one. So I'm going to go yes. finger out of the way I can hear it clicking so it's all automatically so let's plug it in so we are now connected directly to there through the other socket okay so it is a NED 9.5.1 so we're going to go connect first of all It'll uh, connect to the internet. It'll say wait connecting to internet. And then it'll say keep the ECU power on. So our power is on. So we're going to go OK. When these become, uh, when this is available offline, this would be great. So what it's doing now is connecting. And all I'm interested in on this, because I've already made a backup of the ECU, which which is takes about six and a half minutes, and you don't want to be sitting there for six and a half minutes watching that. So I've already done the backup. I'm just going to read the EEPROM. Okay, so I just want to read the EEPROM, read, and I want to put it in MED 9.5 EMO off. Okay, and that's going to be. O R I O R I G E prom P R O 
OM Ridge EEPROM. Save. It'll connect to the internet again. And it'll say keep the ECU power on. Okay, next thing, there we go, keep the ECU power on. Okay, what it'll do now is it'll read the prompt. shouldn't take long there we go turn the dashboard off so I'm just gonna turn the dashboard off and click OK so that's that bit done <coughs> pardon me so I'm gonna go exit Do -do -do. I'll shut the system down I'm gonna go back out of the Fox Flash manager like this now let's go into this one so that file should be in there there we go original EEPROM okay so that's that now I'm going to go into my immobilizer removal system which is ECU Vonix it's quite windy today sorry about the wind Right, so ECU Vonix. Now, as you can see, this is version 5, okay, registered to me. This is the genuine version, not this cheap 3.2 uh, Hackam and Crackham nonsense from China, okay? This is the original bit of kit. So, we are going to go to VW all the way down to the bottom. I'm going to find our ECU. So it should be <clears throat> an MED 9.5.1. There we go. Emo off. So we're going to open this and we are going to look for. Uh, let's go up a level. There it is, this one. So there's the original EEPROM. Click on that. Going to go repair it repair file yes so that's the file repaired I want to save that to emo off I M M O off okay and save now we're gonna get out of this <clears throat> now if I go into our files we will see the original EEPROM and the EMO off bin. Okay, so let's get out of that. We're going to go back into Fox Flash. Okay, open up the manager again. Yes, I think I'm going to have to remove this. Keep asking for permission. <coughs> no, I don't want to become a partner. Activate. Okay. Drop that down out of the way, then load Fox Flash. Yes, and then I'll just turn away. So, what I'm going to do while I'm waiting is just turn the power on. And we're still connected. These two wires, by the way, that are sticking out here, these are the cam and crank. That's how it talks to the ECU, fools it thinking it's in the car. Right, so just click on that. Yes. Right, Fox Flash should now reload. So let's have a look. Good. Okay, let's connect. So power is on, it's all plugged in. <clears throat> so it's waiting for the internet connection. Keep the power on. Okay. That's it. So once it's read the files, 
and then give me the options. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, of writing the EEPROM. That's what we're interested in. So write the EEPROM. So there we are, emo off bin. That's the one I want. I want to open that. It'll connect to the internet again. So that's the file it's going to write. If we can get it to go down there. Is that emo off bin? Okay. Keep these pair on. Yes. <coughs> right, so what it will do now. We see a red bar across the bottom. It'll try three or four times. It'll get like 25, 30% and then it'll go back to zero and then it'll do a bit more and then a bit more. I don't know why it does it, but that's just the way it is. So we just wait for it. Should take a bit one and a half minutes, something like that to do an EEPROM. It's relatively quick. So we'll see it get to there we go drops back to zero again nothing to worry about it's just this is what it does it does it in sections okay turn the dashboard off so I'm gonna turn it off and then click OK all right like that end okay done so we can get out of that now escape Let it all shut down, get rid of that, bring this back up, close that, save the data. Right, so now all we need to do, <clears throat> unplug this, plug this into here, see how much easier this is doing it this way. Power off. Plug that into VCDS. Load it, go to ECU, select, engine, okay, reads the ECU, no problem at all, go to adaption, <clears throat> there, go to immobilizer status, there, I've done it again. Keep skipping, it's because I'm doing it through the thingy uh, there. Immobilizer status, we want to see one, there we go. So now the immobilizer has been removed and we've tested it. So there you go, immobilizer disabled. So that is how we remove the immobilizer from a VW ECU. Uh, and there's loads and loads of different ones, we can do virtually all of them. Okay, and hope that was uh, useful to somebody who's bought a Fox Flash. Uh, and wants to you know use it and I would highly recommend this company called ECU Vonics for the immobilizer off files I've tried loads of them and this is probably the best one ever okay thank you for watching